Hi friends, it's Anna and I have a very different video for you today. I have stacks of wax all around me, as you can see. I even have some in the floor that I just, I could not fit anymore up here. I am going to talk about a very special melting program I'm going to be using in October. Normally we have melting challenges in the community where there are prompts, and there will still be those. Patricia Gates is doing hers. Martha, I think, is going to do themed weeks. There's still going to be those, quote, official challenges out. <clears throat> Mine is going to be very, very loose, so I hesitate to even call it anything official, but I do want to invite you to join me. October, as many of us know, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I've shown you before when I did my video about how I got started in wax, I've shown you the magnets that I make and the pin that I have and the butterflies that I have all around me. And then I even think I showed you my sanitizer holder on my purse even has the ribbons that I so that I do these things and have them all around me for my sweet friend Dusty. So I decided to take it a step further this year. And for the month of October, I am going to try to melt exclusively with my fall scents being in one room, typically being in here in the library, leaving fall scents in here because I have my ribbon warmer in here so I already feel like I have the breast cancer representation in here but to use my bedroom and my bathroom typically to melt exclusively pink waxes now there are a couple of stretches on these like I have oh God, what is it? this one is mostly white but it does have the pink glitter swirled in it and it is a ribbon shape and with a breast cancer ribbon melt this one is from sassy girl aroma and it's just brittle cubes it's two little brittle cubes but there's pink in that one cube so i'll use those but i'm going to try to melt a bunch of my pink wax and what i've done is i've gone through all, I've gone through both of my bins of wax over here on this side. And I did go through my my backup storage bin to make sure that I had at least one bar of every pink wax I have available for me to warm out so that I can warm it. This will be what I'll do for the month of October. So I invite you to join me as many days as possible. Yes, this is a lot of what it's going to mean. That a lot of my melting in October might not seem seasonal. But I'm willing to do this and I want to do this to support my Dusty. So first thing we're going to do is go through my vendor waxes that I have for this. I have from Rocky Top Wax Works. I have this. It's called Sweet Thing. This is fruit slices, berries, cotton candy, and toasted marshmallows. So this toasted marshmallow does give it kind of a fall vibe. I might do this one in here some. Because it's like bonfires and fairs, you think the cotton candy and the toasted marshmallows. So I can probably do this one in here because it is a very fall vibe, even though it's pretty in pink. Oh my word. I just noticed, there's glitter all over this, but I just noticed that some of her glitters are actually butterflies. And for those of you that know, like, that's a sign from my bestie. Like, I just noticed that. So, this will definitely be getting warmed. Probably the entire flame show after that, because I was 
so floored by that. I have these ribbon melts are from Jim's Daughter Crafts. I try to finish up as many of them as I can. This one is called You Are Tough. It's cherry Blossoms, Freesia, Sandalwood, Oak Musk, and Dark Amber. These were poured in the end of 2021. So these are in December. These will be three years old. So I really need to get these used up. This one's also, oh, this is actually 10, 10 of 2021. So this one's older. It's called You Are Strong, a true fresh cut rose scent. Truthfully, that will probably, this one's going to be, I mean, rose is strong. So it's going to be a challenge. I love rose, but it's very strong and it doesn't take much <laughs> to get a good strong throw. Um, this one was poured November 5th of 21, so it has a little bit longer. It's called You Are a Fighter. Island Fresh Kiwi, Strawberry, Peach, Anju Pear, and Spring Flowers. So the pear kind of helps it pull a little bit more fall. Oh my gosh, that is going to be a good one. And it's just, it'll be sort of fresh when you're just like tired of all the spices. Because I love spice. But there comes a point when I'm just like, I need a reset. I need, I need a break. This one is poured October 30th. Of 2021, it's called You Are Brave, a, a fresh fruity blend of pears and berries with a slight musk undertone. This one I felt like will be very fall. Oh yes, okay. So that one I can probably do in here, even where I'm trying to keep my scents very seasonally appropriate. I have one called You Are Courageous, Summer Dandelion, Verbena, Heliotrope, Spring Meadows, Lily of the Valley, Weeping Willow, Sweet Pea, and Kentucky Bluegrass. And it is, this was for January 7th of 2022. So this one is about two, Still about to be three years old and, you know, the very beginning of 2025. So, hopefully I can get all of these. My hope is to get all of these used up. I'm not so precious about them anymore because of something you're going to see later. The final melt of this grouping is called You Are an Inspiration. Tart Kiwi, Lilac, Tiger Lily, Pineapple, and Pears. So, again... The pear. This one was poured January 2nd of 2022. So again, all of these are coming up on three years old. I want to get through these. But I also think October will be the perfect month to warm them all. And then the last vendor wax of it that... I have for this is Sassy Girl Aromas Sawdust Days. And I cannot read the notes on the label. This is this was a friend mail sample that was given and I think some oils leaked on it from another wax and I can't read the label. But it's very fall-esque and I can get away with warming it in here, I'm pretty sure. And just because the one cube has pink on it, I'm going to use up. I will go ahead and use both of these, even though only one has pink on it. Just honestly, because this is such a small amount that I can have an empty. Then I have a bunch of Scentsy bars that are pink waxes. And the only thing I did not do is I do have a bag of testers from Martha. And I didn't go through them yet to see what pink testers I have. 
I may or may not do that because I have a ton of wax out to use. I have a bar of pink coconut, a bar of pink sugar berry mint, and some of these I pulled a couple of bars out. I have a full bar and a three cube partial bar of Angel Experiment 624 because she is pink and if this wax was not as old as it is, it starts out pink. It's starting to change color because this is one that I club and then still kind of hoard. So, I'm going to have to do better with that. I have, oh gosh, they keep falling. I'm trying to protect the corner of the page I have over there. Because it's very, very sentimental and special. I have a bar of shut eye. Martha, when we worn this, I will think of you. This will obviously be a bedroom melt only because shut eye. It's perfect. I have a partial bar. This is five cubes. Disney Princess True Love Awaits. I have a bar of Flirtatious. This was from a Bring Back My Bar. I'm not even sure which one. Beautiful, beautiful pink waxes that I'm loving. I have a bar here of Pink Sunshine from, I think this was last year's Valentine's collection. Oh, and it's beautiful. Pair, you know, pair beautifully with that rose bar from Jim's daughter. I have an old Sin of the Month bar of Aloha Orchid from one of the Sin of the Month kits that I had gotten. Beautiful. And again, a lot of these are not seasonally appropriate, but because of the pink for October, they will still feel appropriate to me. This one is with Grace from the Glamorous You collection. And oh my word, did my girl ever display Grace. So it's like, to me, this is one of the most perfect ones to warm in October for her. Because all through her journey, she displayed such grace. I don't even remember. Oh, just super perfumey, beautiful. Reminds me of some of the scents in the breast cancer collection that we're actually going to get to. I have a bar of, I have another bar here of pink sugar berry mint. And I may or may not use two. Some bars I've pulled out two and left, still left some extras in my backup stash. Some bars I only pulled out one, but I have backups of almost everything that I've pulled out. I have a bar of Petal Pals. This was from, I think, two or three years ago in the Valentine collection. And this one again. Very full, but so perfect for being pink wax for October. I have one bar here that I'm going to be very careful when I show it to you. Because I don't want to get somebody in trouble. But this is Fiji Flower. Um, let me f and it's beautiful pink wax. And then I have a bar of pink cotton. Beautiful baby pink wax. Love that one. I still have a whole pile on my desk, you guys. A bar of hibiscus pineapple. A 
some more of Strawberry Rose, which is a more muted pink. A barred strawberry swirl, which honestly, I probably will end up not wanting that one. I don't know. I've realized that I don't really care for the milk note in that. I'm probably going to give that into a round robin. I have a bar of pink berry fluff. This was an old Easter collection bar. And it started to turn, but you can see on the, the sticker the, the color pink it was supposed to be. Smells just like pink marshmallow peeps to me, and I'm so excited because marshmallows are year round. Um, what have I got here? A bar of pink haze, a bar of We're All Mad here, which is a much deeper, darker pink. Again, there's I've got so many still. A bar of Star Apple and Freesia, a much brighter pink. These are an old summer collection bar. I have a partial bar here of hibiscus pineapple. This is probably the one I'll start with when I do hibiscus pineapple. Because I just like to get through my partials first. I have a bar here of Turn Up the Pink. This is from our breast cancer collection. I actually have a monthly club just for these bars. Because they're so important. To me to always have the, the breast cancer bars for my bestie. And the, the stickers have the ribbons on them. The names are very inspirationally fitting. Of course I had to pull this collection out. I actually had an entire box set, plus I have it in a monthly club, so I have plenty of these. Vitamin U Unwind. And this is from the All Is Well Wax Collection. Which is even more special because one of the songs that we depended on and talked about all the time was by my friends the Wisdoms. It's actually called All Is Well. So this All Is Well wax collection is very sentimental. I clubbed that one for a little while. I did not keep it in my club because we came out with the breast cancer bars specifically. So I didn't feel the need to keep that one i have pink spreads hope i also have a partial of that one somewhere um because i bought two of the, of the box collections when they came out and then started a monthly club after they could no longer create donations this one is called I Pink I Can. So, I have plenty, plenty, plenty. I did let my monthly club, just the monthly club, run a couple of times. So, I have plenty of these. I have Moana, Spirit of Montanui. There's more of the breast cancer collection, but I'm just going in the order that I have them thrown on the desk here. Mango Inspirations, Mango Shortcake. Beautiful pink waxes. Um, what is this one? This is an old partial bar from a Bring Back My Bar of Sugar. And this does, many people have said it, but I 100% agree. It smells just like the Aqualina Pink Sugar Perfume, and I love it. 
I took this one out of my glove again. I, I used to have a lot of pink wax bars in my glove just because they were pink. And that would give me pink wax this for October. Then we came out with the breast cancer collection. So a lot of these I didn't necessarily keep in my glove. Although there are certain ones that I did. I have It's Love from a, I think two or three Valentine's collections ago. Again, beautiful, beautiful pink wax. I have a bar of Spring Forward, which I know feels so weird. And I actually, I think I have another partial of Spring Forward here too. Um, oh geez. I'm throwing bars. Sorry, bear with me. This is the partial of Pink Spreads Hope that I, ha I have. Just two cubes left in that bar. That'll be like one day. And that'll be done. I do have a seven cube partial and a full bar out of Spring Forward. The truth is I probably won't go through all of that. Especially in such a spring specific scent as Spring Forward. But I had to pull it out because it was pink. I have a partial bar here. Four cubes, a half a bar. Oh, no, five cubes, excuse me. Five cubes of watermelon patch. I have one of these. The other two are the last one from the Breast Cancer Collection is Positively Pink. And this one is a much darker pink, but because it, technically I wouldn't even call it pink, typically. But because it was in the Breast Cancer Collection, I, I'm warming it. I will warm it. So there's four bars in that collection. I have this watermelon patch bar. We've already talked about it. I have a bar of pink lemon water. I think this is a one and only bar. Some of these are one and only. I have a bar of, finally, I have two more to go over. A bar of love and happiness. This was from a Bring Back My Bar, just very perfumey. And a bar of peony petals from the summer Bring Back My Bar. Which is really pretty. But it, to me, it's an appropriate fall floral. Um, so, I highly doubt I will get through all of this wax. Because I have pulled out a crap ton of wax. But that's my plan, is to warm pink pretty much exclusively in October. I'll have my fall scents going somewhere. It might even be because I have two warmers in here. It might even be that there's a warmer in here going with a pink wax and a warmer in here going with a fall appropriate wax. And then there are pink waxes going in the other two rooms. So that I'm getting through technically three, at least three, three to four pink pieces of wax a day through the entire month of October. Now, you might look at that and go, well, you don't have that much wax out if you're going to be putting in what would equate to a half a bar every single day. But here's the thing. I'm not going to change the wax out every day. I don't do that even with the challenges, the actual challenges that I participate in. Because I have multiple rooms, I change typically one room a day, the wax. And the other two rooms, I let that wax keep going till it doesn't have scent anymore. I will be doing that even more with my pink wax because I am, even though I have a bunch and I do want to warm it for my dusty. 
and I didn't want to get three waxes. Because I am pushing out and delaying and delaying and delaying my clubs. And I know that I'm not going to be replacing some of these bars for a while. I don't necessarily want to be done with all of my pink waxes. Because I want to have them. I want to have pink waxes to continue to warm. So, I might not push for the end quite like you would think. I'm still going to get excited when I have an empty. I still love empties. But this is my plan to warm as much pink wax as possible in October for my girl. Um, again, I even more, you can't see on the back of this shirt, this is a Southern Gals shirt. It's, and it says Happy Fall, y'all. It's got a scarecrow and pumpkins and like a hayride wagon. But it's even pink for this video. Um, wow, I can't believe I've managed to do this in basically a half an hour. I thought this would be a much longer video. Probably a scattered mess, but thank you for bearing with me. And I invite you to please join me in October. Whether you join me for one day or you join me for all 31 days, please join me. I will make a community post for that challenge towards the end of September. And we're, I mean, we're nearing the end of September now. It is September 19th as I'm recording this. And so probably about September 29th or 30th, which is those last couple of days of the month, I will put up a post on my community tab for October. It will have some some kind of breast cancer ribbon and probably some kind of butterfly on it. I will come under that post every single day and I will let you know what I am warming. I would appreciate it if any day that you warm a pink wax, if you'll come under that post and also let me know what you're warming. I cannot wait to see how many people jump on board. Whether Not just for my Dusty. I know we all know people who are affected. I'm thinking specifically of Charity and her sweet sister. Too, as I, I was doing so good. As I record this, I, I've been thinking about them all day. And her brother, you know, just getting the brain cancer diagnosis. And I'm sorry that there's not gray waxes that we can warm to support him. But I hope that her family as a whole will feel the support. Even as we're warming pink to support our breast cancer warriors that we all know. I hope that her brother can feel that support as well. Even though it's not his color. We know that all cancer is still... The same beast. And I pray that he'll feel that support as well. So please again. Again I'm. Okay I did so good. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. But please join me. And let's. Let's just turn our wax community. Completely pink. For the month of October. I did suggest it on Patricia Gates' challenge. That she make. One day. A pink don't they? But I would appreciate it if, if if you feel so inclined, if you, if you feel led, if you know someone that's been impacted and you want to use this to show support for them as well, I would much appreciate people joining. And um, just let me know on that community post. You don't have, I mean, you won't be able to post pictures, but you can come in and comment and let me know what you're warming. Um, I don't know why commenters cannot post pictures on the community tab. <laughs> Only the creator. I, I don't particularly love that, but I might ask in Martha and Steph's wax groups as well if 
I can make a post in there that we can pin featured for October. So that if you wanted to leave pictures on those, you could. Um, but again, just putting it out there as a very, very loose challenge and inviting anyone to please join. I love you, friends. And until I see you again, please have a blessed day on purpose.